Welcome back to Two Player Start. We're playing Dig Dug. I love this game. If for no other reason, then I'm gonna just demonstrate one of my favorite things. Ready? Here we go. I need silence. The music only plays when you walk. It's fucking awesome. Okay, well, I did not do that. I meant to do something else. A different thing. A thing that was not that. What was the thing that you meant to do? Well, I'm gonna try and line up some sweet, sweet points here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh shit. Oh, okay. nice points! <laughs> you got some you got some sweet points there. So I didn't realize that if I I I didn't realize that I got too close. So I'm just gonna Oh, just that's flying too close to the sun, Thomas. Yes. You can just call me Icarus. Kid Icarus? Icarus. Oh no, that's later. Icarus the Dickerus. No, I don't know what that means. Shut up. He's not going to escape, dang it. Okay, so things you don't need to know about but Dig Dug. First one, it is just awesome. Second of all, you're a little dude and you go around inflating people until they explode. Why? I don't know. Don't argue. Shut up. That's the right reason, right? Yes. Ah! He, uh, he did something I wasn't expecting. He cheated, I told you. <laughs> When Daniel was warming up, every time something killed him, he just assumed that that thing was cheating. So we're actually going to run out the... No, we're not going to run out the clock. We're just going to go. This is one of the... No, wait. This is the first game on the list that employees continues, isn't it? No. Isn't it? Because you don't actually continue. You restart. Oh, do you? Then why the hell did it... Why would it lie to me like that? I... Oh, here we go. Okay. Ready? Oh, I got him. I got some. I got him Good. You get this one's coming to get you? Yeah. The thing is, is that you need to make it so that you line them up so you can get a bunch at once. Um, otherwise, you don't get the, like, the mad points. Really? The points that are, like, actually The angry, angry points? Actually, yeah. Uh, all right. Also, something we discovered, something I didn't know. Well, I mean, I assume I saw it at some point. But the bad guys in this game, they have names. The red ones that are hopping around there, those are Puka. <laughs> and the dragons are Figar! Figar the Terrible, I'm assuming. That's what I'm, I'm sure he. That's what he tells his friends. His his other friends call him. It's, Do you think they have friends? I'm assuming that they're friends with each other. So like, Figar will be like, my friends all call me Figar the Terrible. Did I say Figar the Terrible or horrible? You said horrible, but terrible's better. Okay. Yeah, he says you know to try and talk himself up to make other the other the other Figars and Pukas make him make him sound better. You have to wonder exactly how they tell each other apart. The other Figars all call me Figar the Terrible. <laughs> Figar 3 calls me Figar the Terrible. Come get some. Oh, this is a chance. I have a chance to do big things or just kill that one guy. You know, that's like big, big things. Big things. <laughs> it's like, damn it. See, they cheat. Yeah, they go like through it. the walls. What a bunch of assholes. And what, what a bunch, a bunch of, of assholes. assholes. See, this is what it's come to, Daniel. I knew you were going to make that joke, so I had to preempt you on it. You just wish you could make jokes like that. It, really? Yeah. You're you know, jealous of my joke-making capabilities. Your jokery? Yeah. Your joke skills? Joke... Joketitude? Yeah, okay. I was trying to come up with... I mean, jokeitude seems like the obvious one. I was trying to come up with something less obvious, something, you know, cooler, that would make me sound... You know, Smart. Like, like, a, like a big, intelligent person. Like a big man? Yes. Like a Big Mac? You have made that joke on the show before. That made not. me feel powerful and big. Felt like a big man. Yeah? Felt like a Big Mac. You felt like a... All right. I have not made a Big Mac joke before. You have. When? Uh, oh, shit, what? It was... I think it was Darkest Dungeon. You were like, made me feel like a big man. Made me feel like a Big Mac. You've done that. On this show. I don't believe you. Really? Yeah. I'll find it. I'll prove it to you. Even We're... if you show me, I'll assume that you edited it. Really? Yeah. With audio that I got from where, Daniel? I don't know. I'm assuming you just heard me talking about something, something Mac, and we're like, make me feel like a big man. A big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like Windows, uh, what's the name of the, the Windows just text thing? Is it Simon? Yeah. So I don't know if that's what it is. Made me feel like yes. a big man. Made me feel like a Big Mac. You know who I respect? The people who put the time and effort into learning to sound like those things. Like people who can like perfectly emulate the sounds of like text to speech things. 
Those people have earned your respect? Yeah, but not you. Oh. <laughs> that's... That's harsh. Yeah, well, I, I, I mean, I basically ruined your day, right? Ah, 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 why were there two of them all of a sudden? Okay, remember you were saying they cheat? Yeah. They fucking cheat. Is that all my men? Is that all my lives? Might be all your lives, but it'll never be all your men, Thomas. Thank you. Would you like to try? I would like to try. Get your ass out of that chair. There'll be a brief pause while Thomas gets his ass out of that chair. Why you gotta be so mean about it? <laughs> Thomas has now gotten his ass out of the chair. Daniel is in the captain's seat. Show me why you're the captain. Oh, God. Uh, you know what's sad? Huh? I think I've made that joke before, too. We have no jokes left. You want to just... I've to as we have said on the show before, we need a whiteboard. <laughs> Wait, we've made that joke before. I just said, as we have said <laughs> on the show... I know, it's, it, was part of, it was part of the joke that I was making. No. Oh, no. Are my joke privileges revoked? I believe in me! You did good. Uh, for a given value of good. What was the given value of good? Not that good. Oh, okay. You know what I like about Dig Dug? Nothing. Just about fucking everything. Um, and that D Dig Dug is just about fucking everything. With your air hose. Because you, you have to put your air hose inside them to get them all blown up. Well, this episode took a creepy turn. Thank you, Thomas. It's not creepy. It's, you know, sexy and... Oh, and... <laughs> that is what it is. <laughs> I tried to save it. Why couldn't you help me out? Why couldn't you lend an assist? There's no helping that one. Really? Even you... that? Uh, I believe it's a turnip. Well, I mean... Now we'll never know, because you were too slow, and you decided to shoot it first. When you see food, is your first response, kill it! Well, when I see turnips, it is. You, how often do you kill turnips? Frequently. Really? I have questions. The great, so many questions. The great turn, uh, the great turnip genocide of '86. A year before you were born? Yes. Then, wait. John, you... good Terminator style time travel. Oh, okay. John Terminator, John Terminator st uh, style time travel. Are we saying that? The Terminator's first name was John. His last name was Terminator. Like when he, when he was saying John Connor, he was actually just trying to introduce himself. Yes. My name is John Connor Terminator. It's a rather strange name. I'm pretty sure it's it's Swedish. Or maybe Austrian. No, don't be stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't know. I, I don't think you were thinking. Come on. Come on, you piece of shit. Listen. Figar has been... Figar just wrecked your shit. Figar just ruined my day. Figar the terrible friend, more like it. <laughs> yes. Figar. Figar the terrible friend. He never he never helps anyone move, uh, even though he has a truck. Um, he always bails on lunch dates, and uh, he talks about people behind his back. That's what makes people a bad friend, right? Yeah. Hey, you know what? Hmm. You can fi go fuck yourself. <laughs> eh? Yeah? Nothing? All right. I'd have gone with you can go fi yourself. Nah. I like. As in, no, you're not going to, or? <laughs> <laughs> Both. No, I'm not going to do that. No, you're wrong. They've okay. really got to stop walking into my hose. Also, I'm trying to think of something that, you know, like an insult that you could turn puka into. But so far, nothing's coming to mind. All I could think of was doing the puka poka. Which I'm pretty sure isn't an insult, but is in fact the best dance. How's beaten levels? You're just a piece of puka. Oh, well done. Yeah, that's the cleverest. <laughs> Okay. That's the, kind of, that's the kind of joke that a third grader definitely wouldn't come up with. <laughs> definitely wouldn't? Definitely would not. Can I ask you a question? Fuck no. Were you lonely? <laughs> Were you like, <laughs> I need a friend like Figar? Everyone needs a friend like Figar. Yeah, a friend who won't help you move even though he has a truck. Oh well, yeah, so they can help so that'll help them appreciate the good friends. Oh right. I guess we all do need a friend like Figar. Wow, that was, like, legitimately, like, profound. Dang, good work. 
<laughs> we all need a friend like Figar to make us appreciate our real friends. If you have a friend like Figar, why? Like, cotton and like, comment, and subscribe. And comment about why you keep a friend like Figar around. <laughs> we are being so mean to Figar. What is wrong with us? He's he not even real. Move. <laughs> Wait, are we being mean to Figar because he didn't help us move? Yeah. We should write him a letter. Dearest Figar, I was very disappointed today that you did not show up with your truck. Is it possible we're taking Figar for granted? <laughs> <laughs> like, just because he has a truck? He's like, you always ask me to move, but you never ask me if I have time or if I'm doing anything. <laughs> yeah, and you never call. You never say hello. I message you on Facebook, and I see that it says that you saw the message, but you don't respond. And the only time you ever actually call me is when you need my truck. Oh, shit. We're the bad We're friends. We're the bad friends. <laughs> Figar was We've the good learned... friend all along. We've learned a life lesson today. That we can make up shit and then to tie everything back together? Is well... That... That was way less sweet and, and and profound than I was gonna go with it, but sure. What were you gonna go with? That we can't just take Figar for granted. Right. That he's a good friend who tries to do good, who helps us, and we've just been taking him for a ride. By the way, good job on getting ten thousand points. I didn't get ten thousand points. You beat my score. I'm a chump. Well, we already knew that. Well, good. That and that's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's see. Do we have enough time for you to play one more time? Do we have enough time for you to play one more time? I think we can. Put my Oh! oh! Who's the king now? My guess? Yeah. Uh, one of those guys in the Ultima Castles. Call oh, was... back! That was so long ago. So long ago. Like, what, four days? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long four days is? I'm... Yes, 96 hours. <laughs> I didn't ask you for the exact amount of time. You asked me if I knew how long it was. <laughs> Did you see that episode of uh, The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore with, uh, that Bill Nye was on? Uh, yes. The whole less than half thing. So, for those of you who don't keep up on the internet, which if you're watching this show is n none of you, so here's a recap of something you already know. Good work, Tom. Um, Bill Nye was on the nightly show with Larry Wilmore talking about why it was like, you know, super exciting that they found water on Mars. This was like six months ago. Um, and they had two people on who were skeptical of water on Mars, meaning fucking anything. And one of them said, you know, like, how can we make Mars interesting for the average person? Like, can you film a sex tape on Mars? And Bill Nye, without missing a beat, fucking went with it. He was like, yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, the mass of Mars is far less than that of Earth. So you could, you know, like have... You'd, you'd be like 40% lighter, so you could have a really interesting sex tape. And this person asked, how much is 40%? And Bill Nye gets this look on his face like, you didn't actually just ask that, did you? And he looks at her dead in the eye and says, less, less than, than half. half. <laughs> and he gives this look like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> and her response was just to stare at him with, like, heat vision eyes. The kind of eyes you are trying to actively explode someone with. <laughs> was beautiful. Daniel, how do you feel about science? Love science. Yeah? What is it that you like about science so much? Ha! That worked! That did work. Fucking nailed it. That's what I like about science. Dropping rocks on Viga. <laughs> and Puka. And, okay. Do you, wait, do you like dropping rocks on, on, on Figar, comma, and Puka? Or do you like dropping rocks on Figar and Puka? Really, both of those would work. Oh, okay, fair enough. So you like Puka, but you also like crushing Puka. Oh yeah. Dang it, why? If you if you if you crush Puka into a fine powder, can you snort him? <laughs> Only the best Puka. <laughs> <laughs> can you? Do they advertise for Puka in Cocaine Magazine? Because you made a callback earlier, and I felt I felt like I needed to make one too. My callback was not that long ago, though. No, I was making a call back to way oh. back to January 2nd. A all long the time way, ago. All the way back to January 2nd. By the time this goes up, it's going to be March. I have now bested my previous best score. So you bested the best? I bested the best, which was me. So I bested me. He did that thing again, Daniel. He did that thing that where there was one of him, and then there was two of him. Oh, now there are two dead ones of him. 
but there are still two of him. Really, the second half is inconsequential if there's two of him, whether he's dead or not. Well, now there's none of them is the point. Oh, okay. Well, there's... I guess, yeah, you... You obliterated him. You wiped him from existence. There's no part of him left. Come on, buddy. Why would you do such a thing? Good night. You're horrible. You exploded poor Puka. Now no one can snort him. <laughs> I'm always thinking about the important things, right? Yeah. So, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but the flowers at the top there tell, tell you what stage you're on. So you're on stage... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's seven. Duh! That's seven. It's seven. Well, now I'm not on stage seven. All right, well, cool. That was Dig Dug, a game which, I don't know if I meant, did I mention that I like this game? Yes. Oh, okay. By the way, congratulations, highest score. Go for the world record now, not later, now. Okay. Yeah. You... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I've got the world record. Shut the fuck up, Dig Dug. Um. According to this machine. There you go, much better. <laughs> Join us next time when uh, I think we're playing Tron. Tron, man. Tron. Didn't we already play Tron before? No, we played Robotron. That was different. Ha oh, so this is like Robotron, but half as good because there's half as much in the title? No, it's Robotron, but you're not a robot. You weren't a robot in Robotron either. No. Next time. Are you man enough to take three light cycles? I wasn't man enough to take one light cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you woman enough to take three light cycles? Well, hey, hey there, Internet. My name is Tom. And I'm Daniel. And we are brothers. We're going to play some games for you. Uh, we figured we would start this series off with uh, just an old game that we both played. with.